Hey everyone, uh, Gamer J Lee here, and I've been through 24 hours of hell with my Elgato capture cards, and honestly, I've been extremely frustrated. As you guys may have seen, if you follow me on Twitter, I've been posting non-stop about how frustrated I am, and why is this not working, and why am I having all these issues? Now, I haven't solved all the issues with the 4K60 Pro. That's a whole different bowl of wax, and I actually took the card out so I could just get this thing actually running the way it's supposed to be normally whenever I have just my HD60S installed. But I figured it out. And in all honesty, it has been the most frustrating solution ever because here's one thing that, that annoys me. I couldn't find any answers. I couldn't find any answers online. I couldn't find any answers anywhere about this same exact thing occurring. Now, maybe I missed it. Maybe that's on me. If there is a solution that was posted on the Elgato forums, let me know because I couldn't find anything about it. But what is frustrating about this is that I couldn't get any answers online on Twitter or anything. And I posted three Twitter videos about this complaining saying, look, this is a major issue. I don't know what's going on. My computer went from working totally fine with Elgato to not working at all. And I'm going to kind of go through my mindset of everything that happened. But before we get into the story time, I'm going to say this. Do not install NVIDIA driver 416.16. So do not install driver 416.16 because that is the main issue. It had nothing to do with Elgato. It had nothing to do with Windows Update uh, 1809. It had nothing to do with any of that. It had to do with the latest NVIDIA driver. But let's go on through story time. Now last week, 1809 came out for Windows 10. And everyone installed it and got the update and so on and so forth. And what's frustrating about this is that this was right around the same time that I was going through my family crisis with my grandfather. This was right around the same time that I was going through a bunch of things going on, including the robbery that happened at our old home. So I hadn't been paying attention to YouTube videos from other content creators, and I actually missed the video from Epos Vox about the 1809 file deleting. And that was extremely frustrating because if I had known about that and I had rolled back soon enough, then maybe I could have saved my computer from being stuck on 1809. And that, that really does suck because I didn't lose any files, but I thought that that was one of the reasons why maybe Maybe Elgato wasn't working properly. I thought maybe, oh, you know, there has been updates with Windows 10 that has made Elgato perform worse or hasn't made it work as well as it normally does. So maybe that has something to do with it. Turns out it didn't at all. And whenever I went to my PC to try and maybe roll it back to 1803 or 1806, I forget what it was. I didn't have the option because supposedly after you do an update after 10 days you can't roll back and I'm gonna have to say this Windows 10 that's a load of bullshit Microsoft that's a load of bullshit that should not be an option that should not be an option where you can't roll back something whenever you've been busy with real life that that that's extremely stupid and honestly I was frustrated so I'm sitting here troubleshooting with my friends and I've tried everything. I've tried removing Elgato through the reg edit. I've tried, you know, removing the software, uninstalling the card, reinstalling the card, everything else. I've, I've tried almost everything. And then I thought it has to be this Windows 10 update. That's the only thing that's updated in the time from when it was working from when it wasn't working. And I went and I reset my entire PC. Now, the thing is, I have a majority of my stuff backed up. 
I have a majority of my things, you know, saved on a flash drive. So if anything ever like this happens, I can replace it or I can fix it in some way. And I did the update. And guess what? It didn't fix a damn thing. And I was starting to freak out because I was still on 1809. It didn't roll it back to 1803 because I remember seeing a video from Eba's Vox after this whole situation happened saying that they had canceled the 1809 update and everyone should roll back to 1803 and so on and so forth. And then five hours ago from whenever this situation happened, Eba's Vox made another video saying, hey, the update's now fixed. It's now compatible. No one's losing files anymore. And I was like, yay. But I still had a feeling that maybe 1809 was causing this Elgato problem. Well, <laughs> it wasn't Windows, it wasn't Elgato themselves, it was NVIDIA causing the problem. And uh, I found out that my computer had updated my NVIDIA drivers to 416.16. And I'm very lucky, and I'm going to look up the gentleman who I found the video of, this gentleman who I had been scouring YouTube with all sorts of different search terms all day. I've been trying, um, you know, black screen. I've tried, you know, not recording, NVIDIA encoder not working, so on and so forth. And I finally found a video by a YouTuber, which I will have the link to his video down in the description box below because I have to give him credit because he's the reason why I figured this out. Detective talks or detective tox made a video called elgato hd 60s record timer not working fix read description and in the video he doesn't explain anything but if you read the description he basically says that what you have to do is roll your nvidia driver back to the previous driver and that's how you fix the issue and i thought this is ridiculous you gotta be kidding me. Come on, man. That, that can't be the solution. That, that can't be how you answer this problem. Well, it was. And I looked like such a jackass. I looked like such an idiot. And I'm so pissed off at myself that I literally slammed my head against my desk for about a good five minutes before recording this video. So I probably have a concussion. But I wanted to warn you all to not install NVIDIA driver 416.16. That is the main cause of anyone's issue with the actual device. If you're having an issue where your NVIDIA graphics card is not encoding or decoding using the software, it's because of your driver. And if this happens in the future with a different driver, Roll your driver back to the previous version. This will solve your problem. It solved mine, and I'm extremely happy. But now I've got to go back and install all of my software and programs and everything else. Because I freaked out a little bit too much. And guess what? It's going to be a couple days of reinstalling software and programs and and you know games and all sorts of of things so you know experimentation is you know a double-edged sword because half the time you fix things the other half you end up making things worse but at the end of the day we figured it out we figured out it was nvidia driver 416.16 do not install it and if you have a situation like this in the future, roll back your driver to the previous version. That's it. That's it for this video. I'm going to bed. It is currently 3 o'clock in the morning when recording this. I've been dealing with this situation all day. I tried to, you know, take a break, step away from the computer and, you know, wipe my hands of it for a little bit. But when I came back, it was annoying me so much that I did some stupid shit. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope this was uh, useful for some of you guys out there that, you know, had this issue or are having this issue. 
And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Gamer J Lee, signing out.